Good morning to everyone. This is your chemistry teacher, Samir Ranam. Today I am going to discuss few concepts from solutions. Let's, uh, let us know what is solution and con few concentration terms. Now, I have taken this mug. To this mug, I am going to pour water. I am going to add a spoon of sugar to this water. I will stir it thoroughly. What are the things that are present in the glass now? Water and sugar. Which one is present in small quantity? That is sugar. The combination of solute plus solvent. Solute plus solvent is called solution. Which one has to be considered as solute? Sugar that is added to this is of small quantity. The one which is present in small quantity is solute. The water that is taken is of a large quantity. Is nothing but what? Solvent. Solute plus solvent gives rise to solution. But we can't define the solution as such. Now, what is the solution then? When I take a sip of any part of this solution, it will be sweet in taste. This part tasting sweet and this one salt, this one sour, no. It will have same taste. So, a homogeneous mixture of two or more components is called solution. Homogeneous mixture of two or more composition. Here we have taken just two composition, sugar and water. Hence it is called binary solution. If more components are added, even then the composition remains same at each and every part of that solution, then it is considered as solution. Homogeneous mixture of two or more components is called solution. These solutions are classified into three types. Solid solution, liquid solution and gaseous solution. What is this solid solution? Whichever is present in larger quantity, it, it will be acting as a solvent. In case of solid solution, solid will be present in larger quantity. Hence, it is called solid solution. Let us let me give you an example of interstitial hydrides if you remember where platinum and palladium will be occluded by hydrogen will be a hydrogen will be occupying the interstitial spaces which one is present in the large quantity platinum or palladium hydrogen is present in very 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 small quantity gas in solid solid is present in large quantity hence it is an example of solid solution here, solvent is present in larger quantity, liquid is present in larger quantity to which we have added the small quantity of solute that is sugar. It is what type of solution? Liquid solution because liquid is present in larger quantity. Third one is gaseous solution where gas will be present in the large quantity. It will, it will be acting as a solvent. So, solute plus solvent solution a solution is a homogeneous mixture of two or more components if only two components are present then it is called binary solution if liquid is present in the larger quantity it will act, it will act as liquid solution now concentration what is this concentration to a cup of boiled milk if we add a spoon of sugar it will be of the proper taste. If we add 5 spoons of sugar to that same quantity of milk, it will be more sweet in taste. If a pinch of sugar is added, it will be less taste. So on what basis we are judging the taste of that milk and sugar based on both the entities, quantities of both the entities. A quantity of known quantity of solute 
added to specified quantity of solvent gives us idea about the concentration whether the concentration is more or less or proper so both the quantity should be known now we will come across few of the concentration terms i restrict our study for our second pu theory syllabus first concentration term is mass percentage now to this solution we have added sugar that sugar will certainly possess certain mass solvent that is water what we have taken here definitely it will possess certain mass the first concentration term is mass percentage what is it mass percentage is the ratio of mass of solute to mass of solution into 100 both solute and solvent are defined with respect to mass mass percentage is the ratio of mass of solute to mass of solution into 100 second concentration term is volume percentage means we are defining with respect to volume the sugar that is added to this water will certainly occupy certain volume it will definitely occupy certain volume the liquid that have taken in this cup will be occupying so much of volume so next concentration term is volume percentage it is the ratio of volume of solute to volume of solution into 100 this is second concentration term third one is first one we defined with respect to mass second one with respect to volume this third one is with respect to both mass by volume percentage mass by volume what is that we are considering here it is the ratio of mass of solute to volume of solution into 100 mass by volume percentage how is it defined mass of solute to volume of solution into 100 fourth concentration term is parts per million it is the ratio of million is nothing but as we are aware 10 lakhs if i split this solution into 10 lakh parts what is the part what is the part that is added that is sugar is added is considered with respect to mass parts per million is the ratio of number of parts by mass of the solute to 1 million 1 million parts by mass of the solution what is it parts per million it is the ratio of number of parts by mass of the solute to 1 million parts by mass of the solution this concentration term will be used when solute is added to the solvent in very 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 small quantity next concentration term is molarity see this molarity is considered or defined with respect to moles what is one mole one mole of anything one mole of a particle means that particle contains or is present with avogadro number of particle 6.022 into 10 power 23 one mole of sodium hydroxide means how many sodium hydroxide molecules are present 6.022 into 10 power 23 number of sodium hydroxide molecules are present we have got other definitions also means one mole of gas will occupy so much of volume one mole of a particle means if the particle is molecule molecular mass if the particle is atom atomic mass here in this context molarity it is the ratio of number of moles of solute we are not considering with respect to mass nor volume we are considering with respect to moles it is the ratio of number of moles of solute to the volume of solution in liter that volume of the solution should be measured in terms of liters molarity equals to it is the ratio of number of moles of solute to volume of solution in liters 
what is the other formula formula that we have got mass by liter whole divided by molecular mass which mass we are speaking about mass of solute added to 1 liter of solvent and molecular mass we are considering the molecular mass of solute so this is about the molarity number of moles of solute to volume of solution in liters next one is molality in case of molality again we are considering moles number of moles of solute to the mass of solvent in kg if you observed in all the cases in the denominator we used to speak with respect to solution in case of molality we speak the concept with respect to solvent molality is the ratio of number of moles of solute to the mass of solvent in kg mass of solvent in kg what is the other definition that we have got other definition is molality equals to w2 into 1000 divided by m2 into w1 what is the w2 it is the weight of the solute m2 mass molecular mass of the solute w1 is the weight of the solvent so this is about the molality next one mole fraction here both numerator and denominator both are considered considered with respect to moles consider a as solute and b as a solvent mole fraction x a equals to it is the number of moles of a n a divided by sum of number of moles of a plus number of moles of b what about n b x b number mole fraction of b it is the ratio of number of moles of b to the sum of number of moles of a and number of moles of b in case of mole fraction both are defined with respect to moles now sugar is added to the water number of moles of sugar to the ratio of number of moles of sugar and number of moles of solvent gives rise to mole fraction just to repeat we are having seven concentration terms mass percentage mass of solute to mass of solution into 100 volume percentage volume of solute into volume divided by volume of solution into 100 mass by volume mass of solute to volume of solution into 100 parts per million it is the number of parts by mass of the solute to 1 million parts by mass of the solution molarity number of moles of solute to volume of solution in liters molality number of moles of solute to mass of the solvent in kg kg mole fraction it is the number of moles of solute to the sum of number of moles of solute plus solvent if we define with respect to solvent it is the ratio of number of moles of solvent to the sum of number of moles of solute plus number of moles of solvent this is a brief introduction about the solution thank you now makkalu nan class alli avaglu kelta irthare sir avaglu chemistry ne maatadtire sölp enara kathi heli sir inna enara vishaya heli sir anta kelta irthare iga idu corona period anta nimgella gottu observe maadirthira tv alli saaraar jana lakshantra jana dana dharma maartta idare hasdor gella hotte tumstta idare ಮನುಷ್ಯರ ಹುಟ್ಟಿದ ಮೇಲೆ ಅಷ್ಟಾದ್ರೂ ಮನುಷ್ಯತ್ವ ಇರಲೇಬೇಕು ಈ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೀಮ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫಿಶ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ನೇಚರ್ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಪಕ್ಕಕ್ಕೆ ಇಟ್ಬೇಡ ಈಗ ಆ ಜನಗಳದ್ದು ಯೋಚನೆ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಖುಷಿ ಆಗುತ್ತೋ ಅದಲ್ಲ ಯಾರೇ ಒಳ್ಳೆ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರು ಸಹಿತ ಒಳ್ಳೆ ಕೆಲಸ ನಾನೇನು ಹೇಳಿಕ್ ಬರ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀನಿ ಯಾವುದೂ ಸಹಿತನೂ ಆ ದಾನ ಧರ್ಮ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇರೋರಿಗೆ ಉಚಿತವಾಗಿ ಬಂದಿಲ್ಲ ಅಷ್ಟನ್ನು ಮಾತ್ರ ನಾವು ತಿಳ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ಪ್ರತಿಯೊಬ್ಬರೂ ಕಷ್ಟಪಟ್ಟೇ ಸಂಪಾದನೆ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಅವನು ರೈತ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಬಿಸಿನೆಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಎಂಜಿನಿಯರ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಲಾಯರ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಟೀಚರ್ಸ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಯಾರಿಗೂ ಯಾವುದು ಫ್ರೀ ಆಗಿ ಬರಲ್ಲ ಯಾರು ಫ್ರೀ ಆಗಿ ಬರ್ತಾರೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಅವನು ನಗ್ಬಿಡಿ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಅವನು ದೇಶಕ್ಕೆ ಹಾನಿ ದೇಶ ಹಾಳು ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾನೆ ಅದು ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಅದು ನಾನು 
ನಾಯಿ ನನ್ನ ಮನೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಕಳ್ತನ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಹೋದ್ರೆ ನನ್ನ ಅಪ್ಪ ಬರಡನ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೋ ಆಗಲ್ಲ ಅಪ್ಪ ಹಾಳಾಗಿ ಹೋಗುತ್ತೂ ಪರವಾಗಿಲ್ವ ಸೊ ನೀನು ಸಹಿತ ನಾಲ್ಕೈದು ಜನಕ್ಕೆ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ನೋಡ್ಕೊಂಡಷ್ಟು ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಂಗ್ ಆಗಿ ಬೇಡಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ನಾನು ನಿನಗೆ ಹೇಳಬೇಕಾದಂಥ ವಿಷಯ ಆಲ್ ದ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಟ